Golda are the lead consultant for the Water Research Commission, so we, we coordinate the project team responsible for delivering the Atlas. Um, it uh, involves bringing together a lot of specialist disciplines and knowledge. Um, the Atlas concerns itself with primary mineralogy in the, in the various mineral provinces around South Africa at a scale of roughly 1 is to 250,000. It also considers what are the likely mining activities that would be associated with mineral extraction uh, in those provinces, whether it's existing or future extraction. Um, and then it also needs to consider what is the receiving water resource, what is the state of the receiving water resource from a surface water perspective, uh, your rivers and lakes, and a hydrogeological perspective, so your groundwater um, as well. Firstly, it's, a, it's an educational resource to the general public, um, but from an investor or developer's perspective, they, they would use the Atlas as the decision context around what are the likely impacts to water resources of um, developing a mine in this region. And that might pertain to what they would expect their liabilities would be in terms of mitigation. Um, so the Atlas does not tell you where you can and can't mine but it, it may well help govern your decisions around what you expect your liabilities to be in, in the mitigation of impact. Um, and then from a regulator's perspective, a similar decision context, but they, they will be considering, all right, what is going to be the focus of impact assessment uh, to be conducted in, in these different regions, considering the vulnerability of, of water resources in, in that specific area. We've um, solicited feedback from a number of different sectors, private and public, um, and people bring a lot of value to helping us understand um, you know, what opportunities there are, uh, what data assets we can get hold of to help us with our assessment, and, and how to position the Atlas so that people use it in the right way and, and it's not misinterpreted. Well, I think just to raise the profile of uh, um, you know, water resource management, um, obviously it is specifically looking at mining in this case, but there are derived products associated with the Atlas that can be used outside of mining. So yeah, management of, of water resources, looking at things holistically and understanding the impacts to different water resources from both surface and, and underground uh, mining activities. Well, it will be a completely public domain, so I think the primary access channel for, for the product will be through the Water Research Commission. Um, and that will be in the form of printed copy as well as a, a number of supporting uh, digital spatial data sets or GIS data sets. Um, uh, furthermore, we'd like to have um, a, a web map resource, so there's a portal that, that can give users a bit more of an interactive uh, experience with the data and, and that they wouldn't necessarily need to be a, a GIS expert in order to, to interact with the information. I think it would be great if the Atlas could be revisited in five years time or whenever um, resource quality objectives have been set at a broader scale and monitoring networks have expanded. The potential certainly exists to improve the product and the assessment against that base information.